Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So first of all, before I start, to apologize. So one is that uh, English, of course, is not my native language, so sometimes I have uh, problems with pronunciation of some words. And the second is that, um, like my colleague uh, already mentioned, so I'm a police officer. So and you know, police officers, they are very suspicious about saying uh, any word. And um, uh, be careful what to say, how to say. So and this is my philosophy. <laughs> so, uh, and then. Uh, of course, I'm, my education background is criminology and criminality, not politology, and, and so I'm not an expert in this kind of um, uh, sciences. So, but anyway, yes, uh, I was invited, my uh, colleagues, in idea to um, look to one case, and uh, the case uh, was concerning one municipality, uh, when in spring of 2007, uh, our Department of uh, Combating Organized Crime of Latvia uh, in cooperation with other law uh, enforcement institutions, carried out a very large uh, scope operation in one region of uh, Latvia and uh, arresting approximately 20 members of an organized criminal group suspected of smuggling, bribery, abuse of official position, as well as other crimes. So officials of uh, many uh, state institutions like State Revenue Service, State Border Guard, State Police were among them, as well as um, one of... Uh, cities of region, Zilupa region major, uh, who at the same time were a politician, and uh, he was elected as a major, and he was a member of a statewide political party. So I will try in these uh, following minutes uh, to very, very briefly sketch the profile of the case, uh, including showing how um, political uh, and administrative impact may also be used uh, to support criminal activities. And so this is about the case. Uh, so, first of all, a little bit about region, just to understand uh, uh, local environment. So, um, as you can see, this uh, red uh, small region uh, is a border town or the border region between border Latvia with Russia, and uh, the uh, city Zilupa is located only within one kilometer from the border, and uh, region and town itself, it's a place of strategic significance, because both uh, the main railroad and the main road is crossing the region and uh, border checkpoint. Terehova is one of the largest um, uh, border checkpoints in Latvia with uh, Russia border. And um, some years ago at the border checkpoint, a uh, long row of tracks was uh, constantly forming uh, uh, due to low capacity of uh, border checkpoint uh, along rows. Uh, so it can, from time to time, uh, confirms that there was uh, one to two thousand tracks uh, just staying, uh, waiting uh, uh, row uh, to, to leave the country. And depending on the number of vehicles, from time to time this was more than 50 to 20 kilometers. And of course, taking into account the situation and geographical and, and, and situation at border, uh, there was a very good facilitating circumstances uh, uh, to, to establish uh, activities of various uh, criminal groups. So, and um, now I'm going directly about the organized criminal group. Um, so how would it was established and strengthened and have a group leader entering uh, into local governing structures. So I will not mention the, the surname of uh, this uh, miss, uh, gentleman because the case is still in, uh, in the court. So I will call it just uh, Mr. Major. And the um, uh, municipality of that small region consists of 30 members. And already in 2003, uh, this suspected major was appointed as a deputy major at the municipality, and the uh, appointment was made by his good uh, friend, who was at the time a major. And at this moment, uh, we can say that major really took over the management of the municipality in actual democratic way. Uh, and at that time, the origin of an organized criminal group was set. So also by starting to use administrative uh, resources for own benefit. In next municipality elections that took place in 2005, uh, Mr. Major became a number one uh, in elections and took the position of the major. And in, again, in the next elections after four years in 2009, despite the fact that uh, he already being charged in criminal uh, matter, already ran in elections as the first number in the list, and again was appointed uh, in the position of chairperson of uh, Zilope Council. On the left uh, hand side of the slide, uh, you can see what are the main functions uh, concerning the law of, of municipalities. And uh, in my opinion, uh, this is a very notable resource uh, to use for uh, personal benefit as well. 
uh, just to distribute local government, uh, spending budgets, collecting taxes, fees, realizing several investment projects, and so on. And uh, of course, this is a very good basis to providing uh, a basis for, for organized criminal group and its activities, and of course, to have a um, local municipality just to gain uh, personal benefits, as it was in this case. About personality of a major itself, um, uh, the different sources of information, and they are public, confirms that already in the 80s and 90s, uh, Mr. Major acquired the status of criminal authority of the region. So previously he was three times uh, convicted of committing crimes, twice for hooliganism and once for robbery. Uh, he has sentenced for a real um, a criminal penalty in the form of uh, actual imprisonment um, by serving the sentence at place of uh, deprivation of liberty. And uh, it is precisely this time when he started to strengthen uh, his authority in the criminal environment. And, uh, for example, he received the real criminal nicknames. Uh, his body allegedly bears tattoos, confirming his uh, belonging to criminal uh, world. And uh, yes, uh, the strange is that uh, this authority and this uh, position in criminal world did not hinder him to obtain authority also in the civil life, in the town and in the region. Uh, so, because um, he enjoyed the inhabitants' respect long time before he uh, he decided to join politics. So, and mainly the authority, of course, is established by money, by the funds. So, uh, he has a private person, usually uh, supported or sponsored various local activities, like uh, cultural and sporting events, uh, invested renovation and improvement of infrastructure objects, uh, sometimes just give smaller money uh, amounts to inhabitants to solve every problem, just go by the street and give the money, for example, to elderly people to uh, buy uh, firewoods for the winter and etc. So um, he was very actively involved in, in local Orthodox church uh, uh, activities as well. And of course, uh, inhabitants loved him and uh, were not disturbed by the origin of um, his funds. Uh, all, thought all of them had an understanding that uh, these uh, funds are mostly obtained from the crime. Um, a little bit about organized criminal group uh, allegedly led by him uh, as I said, after the operation in, uh, of law enforcement institution in 2007, in total 26 persons were arrested in 2008. According to the information, uh, the direct core of the organized criminal group uh, consisted of five to six persons, and the real leader or organizer of the group was uh, Mr. Major. So other persons in the group performed the functions of um, executors, mediators, so however they were uh, also pr uh, usually private parties, mainly uh, all of them was uh, local inhabitants, uh, officially in employment, by driving by Mercedes and Audis, and um, uh, all other arrested persons um, committed and ensured support to crimes as officials of various state institutions, as I already mentioned, uh, the state border guard officials, state police officers, custom officers, for example, deputy chairperson of customs checkpoint, department of region was arrested. And so on. Uh, about modus operandi, also, it's clear that uh, when it's a border, when it's uh, such uh, circumstances, um, the investigators found that uh, there was uh, indications of the following criminal offenses. Uh, in activities of members of that group, and they are uh, smuggling, uh, laundering proceeds uh, from the crime, evasion of taxes and similar payments, uh, using official positions, uh, accepting bribes, giving of bribes, etc. Uh, but also an investigation established that uh, Mr. Major actively used uh, his political position and political um, decisions uh, on behalf of his and uh, his group. Uh, so, for example, these activities uh, also including uh, criminal lobbying, lobbying, uh, property privatization, uh, the acquis acquisition of uh, mineral resources, uh, providing green line for vehicles uh, just to be uh, faster to the border, uh, the, de the development of uh, municipality forest, frauds of uh, AU frauds, and, and so other. And as I said, uh, before uh, the case uh, is still in court, so it's uh, not finished yet, and then uh, the case is still in progress. So uh, this was very, very briefly about um, about case itself. So and uh, yes, this is just my my conclusions uh, from this case. Uh, 
so what what we can say about illicit networks and uh, criminal groups so firstly we can see that illicit networks uh, use politicians as much uh, politicians use illicit networks so in this case uh, the politician uh, use illicit network for uh, territorial control uh, in order to gain electoral capital so using these networks uh, to intimidate and alter electoral base uh, so personal enrichment um, through joint economic ventures. Um, so secondly, uh, illicit networks use politicians uh, to ensure protection from prosecution and uh, to control key sectors, uh, how it was in this case, uh, just uh, for example, border control, so necessary decisions from municipality. Um, thirdly, the connections between illicit networks and corrupt politicians are not uh, necessarily dependent on uh, electoral cycles or legal campaign financing, uh, but rather on more uh, organic and sustained family and friendship ties uh, that often go back to school or, or the local environment and uh, interests and social situations, etc. Uh, illicit networks ensure public support by providing state services. Uh, because uh, people who are living in the territory see that infrastructure is growing up, so the roads are good, the objects are uh, objects are new, renovated, and uh, politicians connected to these networks maintain power because of this. And uh, of course, uh, this affecting healthy electoral and, and political competition. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, of course, uh, it's geographic proximity. Of course, uh, geographic proximity of uh, of the place, uh, of the countries who are very close to the EU's uh, European Union uh, um, eastern border, uh, has made uh, this region, of course, very, very uh, vulnerable, and uh, therefore coastlines and land borders tend to be more um, susceptible uh, to the presence of organized crime and uh, hence to the relationship uh, with public actors. So that was very shortly. I hope I managed to do it in 10 minutes. 11 minutes, 13 Eleven. seconds. Well, that's a good result. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good result. Well done. Um, thank you. Th th thank you very much, Artis. Um, uh, you've, you've touched on so many, so many fascinating points already on how the political process is, can be, is and can be compromised by illicit networks. I particularly like the point about the sense of, not just sense, but the legitimacy someone like the mayor uh, enjoys amongst people, which, which raises some interesting questions around who should be providing those services and why aren't they, i.e. the state or the government. Just a very quick question before we move on to Frank. What was the, the public reaction to his, oh, sorry. God, yeah, thanks. What was the public reaction to his arrest? Um, w was it an unpopular move? Was there any reaction at all? Because I, I really like this point about them, him also having s some sense of legitimacy in the in the area. Very briefly, um, there was a reaction. The reaction was uh, national and local, national because he was a member and he's still a member of uh, national political party. And of course, can you imagine uh, the reaction from politicians? Was that this is political? Um, uh, how to say? It's a political case. Mm. It's not a criminal case. It's political. <laughs> it's uh, members from other political parties uh, just just want to be right. put them in uh, in a jail. But uh, locally, uh, people said they don't believe it. That it's 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 not true. Mm. So this is uh, not true. And uh, we are on behalf of our uh, major.